I've been doing a lot of thinking about us, about our relationship, what we have, where we're headed. I've decided I want more. You both deserve more. I agree. So whatever happens, whatever you decide, Catherine Houghton Beckett, will you marry me? Proposing. Okay, you're surprised. Of course I'm surprised. I thought you were breaking up with me. By offering you a ring? Well, you just, you seem so serious. Yeah, of course I'm serious. This is the most serious thing I've ever done. Oh, God. So that's a yes? No, wait. No. No, 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 not, not no. So yes. Um. Not yes? No, not not yes. I, I. You do know how this works, right? There's something that I have to tell you. I got the job. In DC. Castle, I love you. But this is my shot. And if I don't do this, I'll always regret it. Look, if this changes anything for you, if this changes the way that you feel. Kate, I'm not proposing to you to keep you here. Or because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose you. I'm proposing because I can't imagine my life without you. If that means when things get difficult, we have to figure them out, then I'm willing to figure them out. Assuming you're willing to figure them out with me. Well, in that case, Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes. Yes, I will marry you. Have remarkably tiny fingers. We're gonna be able to make this work, right? We're gonna be great. DC is gonna be great. <laughs> I promise. Our victim is Vivian Marchand, the psychic medium. You've heard of her? Yeah, she was very popular in certain Manhattan circles. Matter of fact, she did a reading for me at a society party about eight years ago. It was pretty extraordinary. Extraordinary? She got everything right. You know, come to think of it, she told me that a beautiful woman would one day move into my loft and stay with me forever. She neglected to mention it was my mother. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you remember something? No. It's not that. I'm afraid I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. The fact is, I have a little bit of what my mother did. Sometimes I have dreams that are meaningful. Last night I had a dream about you. Okay. And I can't really explain why, but I feel very strongly that I'm supposed to tell you something, something important. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alexander. Alexander? Alexander. I don't know who he is or what he means to you. I don't know any Alexander. You will. You will meet an Alexander, and he will be extremely important to you. At some future date, he may save your life. Okay. Um, good to know. <sighs> Thank you, Detective. Thank you, Penny. Oh, before I forget, what did Penny say about Alexander? Oh, nothing. Just some silly stuff that didn't really make any sense. Why? Because my middle name is Alexander. I thought your middle name was Edgar. Been perusing the personal section of the Richard Castle website again, have we? No, I changed my middle name to Edgar for Edgar Allan Poe back when I changed my last name to Castle. My given name is Richard Alexander Rogers. What a coincidence, huh? It's no surprise.